Check this out. I was just about to start filming this video, right? And it starts snowing again. Hope everyone's been having a good winter. You guys are never going to guess what I just did. I was filming my opening sequence and apparently I didn't have one of my microphones charged. So I have, I shot this sequence with me talking with no audio in it. <laughs> Rough start for the day. It's snowing and then recording without any audio. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, uh, to make a long story short, this week I had three nights of clear skies in the forecast. I was looking at clear outside and lo and behold, I had three nights back to back of clear skies. Now, I said had because the weather's kind of changed a little bit. Last night I tried going out and doing the first night, but it dewed over on me and... I didn't get anything. Really, really frustrating. But I, you know, I guess that's how winter astro goes though. But as far as like winter and fall astro, I've done more than I did last year, which last year I did zero because it was cloudy for like 10 months straight. I've completed about seven projects since August and it just keeps on going, right? So gifted with this weather, this clear weather, I actually think I'm only going to have one night to tell you the truth, the way things are looking. Uh, but tonight is night two. And what I wanted to do originally was get three targets and three nights. I wanted to get M78, uh, 21, NGC 2170, and also the Pleiades. Tonight, since I'm going to try and get out there a little bit early, I'm going to shoot the Pleiades for an hour and then get NGC 2170 as soon as it's in a good spot in the sky. Hopefully I get a few hours of uh, exposure time on that one because I know it's like super faint. And I've been testing this out. I um, printed a, I guess it's a cable router for my C6. And it works pretty well. I, I got the Rosette Nebula just recently with Hyperstar. Uh, this is two hours and uh, the stars look look great, you know, the uh, they're diffused, but when I shoot the Pleiades, I know the Pleiades is super bright. Those those big stars that are in that reflection nebula, I'm really interested to see what the diffraction patterns are going to look like with that. I'm still getting used to diffraction patterns cuz I used to shoot with a refractor and I just didn't get that with the with a refractor at all. So I'm starting to like them, and honestly, I've been thinking about getting a imaging Newtonian because I, I think it'd be cool to get, you know, that the crosshair kind of uh, diffraction spike in the pictures, but that's probably another story for another time. So I guess the only thing we need to do is prepare the hyperstar, the hyperstar, prepare the hyperstar. Gosh. I guess the only thing we need to do is get on up, get on. Yeah. Did I mention these clear nights are during the week nights when I actually work? So I'm trying to actually get home at a decent hour as well. But you know, these are these are the things that I'm I got Hyperstar for, right? The weather's changed. I used to be able to just set up and just have a full night of shooting, but lately I only get like a few hours. Uh, per night, so I need something that images a lot faster, and that's why I got Hyperstar. And I want to say it's been a really good investment because I'm enjoying the hobby more because I'm getting data that I can work with in such a short amount of time. Well, hopefully the weather holds tonight. It stops snowing, so I can get a little bit of clear sky time. So that's the plan. Pleiades and then NGC 2170. Wish me luck. Hey guys, well I'm set up and I'm underway right now. It is super clear here tonight. Um, it's a lot better than it was last night. 
totally clear in the sky right now and I'm super excited. No ground fog, no nothing. Last night I had ground fog and it just kind of swallowed everything up. So that was after I set up. It was super <laughs> disappointing and I wasn't actually supposed to have tonight. Um, the forecast changed during the day and then it changed again and now it's super clear so I'm taking advantage of it. Um, it's nine o'clock, so I'm gonna try and get an hour on the Pleiades on Hyperstar. I'm taking one minute subs right now. Uh, so I'm gonna try and get one hour on the Pleiades and then I'm gonna to switch to my main target, which is NGC 2170, the Angel Nebula. So I don't have a lot of time tonight, so I'm trying to get an hour in that as well. And by the time I'm done, I think the moon is gonna rise, so I'm trying to Get as much RGB done as possible. I'm really excited because I don't get to do a lot of RGB imaging because the nights that I can, the full moon's out completely. And it, it's just it's just my luck out here. So I'm super excited to do that. It's cold, it's like 27 degrees right now, but um, I wanna make the best of it. I don't care. It's This is an awesome night, you know? So I've been waiting for a night like this for a couple of weeks already all right and check this out right here so i got my car my leaf it's kind of funny because of where i'm at i have it plugged in right now because <laughs> i have outlets here funny thing is i have my car plugged into outlets but my uh, mount is not way over there running on battery it's just kind of funny I have an outlet here and I just don't even have it running yeah I feel like since we're shooting subs we should explore a little bit this is actually my backup site or it used to be my backup site before I lost my dark sky site and it's actually located it's the same field that I fly RC in and there's this, there's this house right here. It's just kind of a, it's for the um, park employees actually. I've never just kind of explored here. Watch I set off an alarm and stuff. <laughs> That'd be cool to like buy this place and then I'd have like a permanent spot to shoot Astro in, you know? <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. It's got this really big deck. Got some benches here. Cool tree. Dreams, you know, dreams. And those of you that actually have backyards and houses, I envy you right about now. Well, I'm in the car and check this out. This is how cold it is inside my car. And I got something new. I got a new headlamp finally. I remember I was complaining about how my other headlamp was broken and it just kind of flops around. Well, I got this one. It's kind of cool. I think it's too bright though, at least for camera, but it's got a uh, strobe like this and it's got a really bright setting that's on now. And it's got a medium setting. I, I like this the best as far as, you know, being on camera shooting video on myself but I still think it's super super bright but anyways I am still rolling on the Pleiades and I'm on blue right now and boy I am getting a lot of data on there I on I honestly was not excited to shoot the Pleiades until I put the blue filter in it's <laughs> really really cool looking at one minute subs I'm just really excited to see what this is going to turn out like and i haven't actually shot the pleiades in in quite some time and i haven't really got a successful photo of it either because the last time i shot this was with the camera lens and with the dslr and it was super foggy and i just never got back to it now like a couple years later i'm finally kind of shooting the pleiades it's just really really cool I'm 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 totally jazzed and excited about it, but it's freezing right now. <laughs> I mean, astro imagers were were crazy, right? I mean, 
we will shoot in just some of the harshest situations, you know, like in the summer, it's like super hot, you get eaten up alive by bugs. And um, in the winter, we're just kind of standing in the cold. I mean, it's like under 24 degrees right now. And I'm just as happy as all could be. <laughs> I don't know. We're a we're a crazy bunch. I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. Uh, but here are my blue subs on the uh, Pleiades right now. I'm taking them right now. My guiding is looking pretty good. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of reflection nebula in there. This is just one minute on the Pleiades. It's looking really, really fantastic. About to switch to green. And it looks as though my car is almost charged up too. So good news all the way around. All right, guys, I got some really, really bad news. It's clouding over right now. Uh, I just finished my set of RGB on the Pleiades, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna get tonight. Um, it's super cloudy. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it clouded over really fast. And out here across the field, probably totally can't see that, is a lot of fogginess going on. So, I don't know, maybe you can see it there on the horizon. But um, I'm going to have to call it quits. It's too bad, but I'm pretty excited about checking out these uh, subs on the Pleiades. I mean, it's like I was saying, I just I haven't shot it in a really long time. And I started getting really excited seeing, the, seeing those frames. But I'm just grateful for tonight. I mean, winter shooting is like really, really tough, you know, because the weather is so unpredictable, you know. So I'm just happy I got the hour that I got and I'm going to pack it up and at least I can get some sleep tonight and go to work uh, not tired. So uh, I'm going to pack it up and hopefully we'll process these subs pretty soon. All right. Well, the weather quickly turned, didn't it? <laughs> so this is day three and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to go out whatsoever. I like how I was all happy over the weekend cause I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I got three nights of clear skies. I'm gonna charge some batteries. I'm gonna do this and that. I'm gonna shoot three targets, you know, I got all night. And I uh, ended up just having one night for an hour. That's all I got was an hour of clear sky time. But that's an hour that is better than none, right? <laughs> and it was of the Pleiades. I, you know, and the thing is, is I have a reveal. I actually have a reveal photo. Um, I didn't get a full hour, though, like I was saying, because my luminance turned out really really bad because when the clouds started coming in uh that's when you know as far as shooting with hyperstar you'll you'll start seeing like the vignette because you have that s central obstruction right it's it's very pronounced when clouds come in and you you start shooting up there so I had to toss my luminance. So all I got was RGB. And since I shot one minute subs and 15 of them in each color, I got 45 minutes of exposure time, 15 minutes in each filter. But I'm actually pretty excited because this is what I got. I'm really impressed because you can really see the uh, nebulosity that's in there, the, in the reflection nebula, which is really, really cool. I got a lot of detail and the stars, I'm starting to get used to these diffraction patterns. I actually think it's kind of cool. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think that cable router actually helped me out quite a bit. So um, it's a lot more diffuse, even on the very bright stars. I don't know, I just think it looks cool, you know what I mean? And 
I'm glad that I was able to expose something. The Pleiades is, you know, a good beginner target. But the thing is, it's hard to process. And it's even hard to process with, you know, minimal exposure time. But with, with Hyperstar, I did get some useful signals. So I am grateful for that. So, yeah. Uh, my end of 2022, because I doubt I'll have another night like this until next year, 2023. I'll remember this, where I had three nights of clear skies and I only got an hour on one night. <laughs> well, that's how it goes, right? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me on uh, my little astro adventure. I know we haven't had one for... My cat just sneezed. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me on this little Astro Adventure. I know we haven't had one for a while, and we were definitely due. Get it? Due? Man, I just, my cat just sneezed, and I'm telling bad jokes again. Why do I keep telling these jokes? I do have more product videos coming your way, so look out for that. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.